With the latest from News for Jacks, I'm Mary Bear. This was a particularly dangerous weekend in Jacksonville. On Friday night, two people were injured and one person killed during an argument on Rhode Island Drive. And then six people were shot in less than 24 hours. On the east side, two 14-year-olds were hurt in a drive-by shooting. And then at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, two people were shot inside a bathroom. On Prospect Street, two men were shot while sitting in a car. None of these people, though, were killed. Health officials in Nassau County are now urging school leaders to have students wear masks so they're better protected from COVID. In a letter sent to the Nassau County School Board, it says it's disheartening that after several weeks we have made little progress in protecting our children against COVID-19. Children are being hospitalized at an alarming rate. It goes on to say that they'd like to propose stricter terms to the mask mandate as have other districts and saying the opt-out should only be given to those that have medical conditions that prohibit them from wearing one. And lifeguards are keeping their guard up as crowds hit the beach right before Labor Day weekend comes to a close. But the yellow flags, they are flying as a medium risk in the water. Lifeguards urging swimmers to stay close to their stations since red flags were flying over the last few days. Always the latest news online at newsforjacks.com.